Hello everyone, today we will solve some more problems which were given in the test. The first problem is two particles approach each other with different velocities. After collision, one of them is found to have momentum P e in their center of mass frame. In the same reference frame, the other part must have momentum. So we have to find here the momentum of the other particle. So you know that in center of mass frame, the linear momentum is zero. So from the conservation law of the momentum, momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision so here uh, the momentum before collision is zero and momentum after collision of the one particle is p so other particle will have the momentum minus p so that it becomes equal to zero so here your answer is minus p you must remember that the velocity of the center of mass for the two particles are m1 v1 plus m2 v2 upon m1 plus m2 so in center of mass frame your v is equal to zero right now the next problem is a particle of mass m is in a potential given by v r is equal to minus a upon r plus a r naught square upon 3 r cube where a and r0 are positive constants when disturbed slightly from its stable equilibrium position it undergoes a simple harmonic oscillation the time period of oscillation is given by so you have to find here the time period this is a very important problem so uh, its solution is this is the potential here and it is equal to minus a upon r plus a r naught square upon 3 r cube so first we will find here because here you see that your potential energy is a function of position coordinates so we will find first dv over dr when we differentiate the above expression with respect to r then our value is now we will put dv over dr equal to 0 to find the value of the points where it is stable or unstable so we have the value r is equal to r0 now we will find d2v over dr2 your d2v over dr2 here it is equal to minus twice a upon r cube plus 4a r naught square upon r to the power 5 now we will find d2v over dr2 at the point r equal to r naught so when we put r equal to r naught it comes out to be twice a upon r naught cube here a is a positive constant r naught is also a positive constant so it is a positive value.
that means d2 v over dr2 is positive for r equal to r naught that means it is a stable equilibrium point so we can write here d2 v over dr2 is equal to k which is a constant so you also know that time period is equal to 2 pi upon omega and it is 2 pi omega is equal to root k upon m so here t is equal to 2 pi root m r naught cube upon twice a this is the answer of this problem and it is a very important problem the next problem is uh, if a planet sweeps in equal area in equal time then the following orbit is represented means you have to find here the shape of the orbit uh, for a planet uh, you know that uh, when it uh, sweeps equal area in equal time then its aerial velocity uh, dA or dt uh, remain constant and it is equal to j upon twice m that means uh, the uh, i have already discussed this problem so in that case we have proved that the shape of the orbit is uh, an elliptical so it is the answer of the problem the next problem is a particle of unit mass moves along the x-axis under the influence of a particle potential vx is equal to x x minus 2 whole square the particle is found to be in a stable equilibrium at the point x equal to 2 the time period of the oscillation of the particle is so here again you have to find time period here uh, your point is given for stable equilibrium right so first we will find uh, dv over dx dv over dx is here equal to 3x square plus 4 minus 8x here uh, when we put dv over dx is equal to 0 then we find x equal to 2 and x equal to 2 by 3 is also a other point but it is given that it is a stable equilibrium point so we will discuss uh, the condition for x equal to 2 right then we will find d2v over dx2 it is equal to 6x minus 8 for x equal to 2 d2v over dx2 is equal to 4 we can write it as equal to k and you know that uh, the time period is equal to 2 pi upon omega or you can write 2 pi upon root omega is equal to k upon m so t is equal to 2 pi upon root k here n is 1 it is given so t is equal to 2 pi upon root 4 and t is equal to pi second this is the answer of the problem it is a very important problem the next problem is uh, write the spherical and cylindrical coordinates of a system and i have already discussed uh, this in uh, my earlier videos so spherical coordinates are x equal to 
r sin theta cos phi y is equal to r sin theta sin phi and z equal to r cos theta where r theta phi are this spherical polar coordinates now we will write the cylindrical coordinates so cylindrical coordinates are x equal to rho cos theta y equal to rho sin theta and z equal to z here uh, rho theta and z are the cylindrical coordinates and here r theta phi are the spherical coordinates symbols are their usual meanings the next problem is that uh, the force is given f is equal to y square z cube minus 6 x z square i plus 2 x y z cube j plus 3 x y square z square minus 6 x square z k here i j k are the unit vectors we have to find here the nature of the force is it conservative or non-conservative so for conservative or non-conservative force we will find the value of del cross f here del is an operator it is called as dlm but operator and it is equal to i del over del x plus j del over del y plus k del over del z right so we will find the value of del cross f if it is equal to zero then the force will be conservative and if if uh, it is not equal to zero then the force will be non conservative force so we will write here first i j i j and k then we will write del over del x del over del y del over del z then we will write the x component of the force that is y square z cube minus 6 x z square then y component it is twice x y z cube then z component of the force is 3 x y square z square minus 6 x square z when you solve it uh, then you will see that uh, this value is not equal to zero so here your force f is a non-conservative force non-conservative in nature so this is the answer of the problem now your next problem is the yukawa potential is given by u r is equal to minus r zero upon r u zero e to the power minus r upon r zero calculate corresponding expression for the force of attraction so you have to find the force of uh, attraction here you see that the potential or potential energy is a function of here only the position coordinates here uh, u0 and r0 are constants right so uh, we will write the potential energy in terms of the force uh, we can write uh, f is equal to it is equal to minus uh, du over dr so when we solve it 
it comes out to be minus u0 r0 upon r e to the power minus r upon r0 1 upon r0 plus 1 upon r here what you can do you can consider r0 and u0 as constant so you will consider uh, 1 upon r as the first function and e to the power minus uh, r upon r naught as the second function so then you can find uh, the value of the force right now the next problem is uh, the potential energy function for the force between two atoms in a diatomic molecule can approximately be expressed as it is given as ux is equal to a upon x to the power 12 minus b upon x to the power 6 where a and b are positive constants these are positive constants and x is the distance between the atoms now for what value of x u x is equal to 0 and minimum so we have to find here first that the value of x uh, when your u x is equal to 0 so we will put the above expression u x is equal to 0 then we find the two values and those are x equal to infinite and the other is x equal to a upon b to the power 1 by 6 most of the students uh, do not write the value x equal to infinite so you have to remember this that there are two values one is x equal to infinite and other is x equal to a upon b to the power 1 by 6 right now the next part of this problem is that uh, for what value of x ux is a minimum so for minimum again we will find du or dx it comes out to be minus 12a upon x to the power 13 plus 6b upon x to the power 7 now we will put du over dx equal to 0 so when we put du over dx is equal to 0 then we find here the two values one is x equal to infinite and other value is x equal to 2a upon b to the power 1 by 6 so when we find d2u over dx2 we see that it is a positive uh, at the point x equal to 2a upon b to the power 1 by 6 so that means it will be a stable equilibrium point or the potential energy will be minimum for it so the answer is x equal to 2a upon b to the power 1 by 6 the next problem is that mutual interaction forces between two particles can change the problem is that mutual interaction forces 
in between two particles can change so its answer is kinetic energy but not linear moment right the next problem is find constant is holonomic or non holonomic as a particle moving on an ellipsoid under the influence of gravity so for an ellipsoid when a particle is moving under the influence of the gravity you know that uh, at some time the particle will leave the surface right so when the particle is moving on this ellipsoid due to the gravity force at some point it will leave the surface of the ellipse so it is uh, we can consider it as a non holonomic constraint because here uh, x square upon a square plus y square upon v square is uh, greater than or equal to 1 a and b are the semi major axis and b is semi minor axis so it will be a non-holonomic constraint thank you